Hey, my, my name is Aaron Lau. I'm the founder and CEO of MagInfo. Well, thank you very much for coming. Well, the timing of this session is, uh, is it's great. It cannot be better. Uh, well, really appreciate you guys coming here. So, um, MagInfo used to be a Salesforce consulting and development company, and we are transferring our business to a product company, and Target is one of our products. So we started doing it from about three years ago, and that was the time WeChat was um, becoming popular. So over the, uh, the course of the past three years, WeChat went from being popular to being crazy. So the reason I'm saying it's crazy because, well, there has, been never, there has never been another app or anything else in China that gained as much popularity and extensive uses as WeChat did. So WeChat users are using WeChat every day, every hour. So if you go to China, and literally you cannot survive without using WeChat. So WeChat enriches people's lives from so many different perspectives. And WeChat is no longer just a communication tool, it became a platform that businesses can use for offering their services and selling their products to WeChat users. Uh, first, I want to um, well, give you guys a brief introduction about what kind of WeChat account that everyone is using. So WeChat has personal account, which is everybody's using. I'm using WeChat. Uh, some of you may also be using WeChat as well. So that's personal account. WeChat also has business account, which is for companies for doing marketing, sales, customer service. So what Target does is Target connects your WeChat business account with your sales force. So once you have the connection, there are quite a few things you can do. So let's say I am doing marketing from within Salesforce. I will show you, this is, this is my marketing campaign. It's just a regular one. Everything is the same as your marketing campaign. The only difference is it has a QR code. So this is a WeChat QR code. It has uh, a lot of information in it. It has your WeChat business account. It has your Salesforce org ID. It has your marketing campaign ID in it. So what I'm going to do is, so once you have your, this QR code was generated by Target. And once you generate the QR code, you want to send your QR code to, to people. You want to send it through newsletters. You want to put it onto your website. Or you may want to place the QR code uh, at the entrance of the building. So when people are coming here, they can scan this QR code from their WeChat app. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to scan this QR code from my phone. Okay, so I just scanned this QR code. From my phone, you will see the company, this company already sent me a welcome message. So this message is customizable. It can be for uh, anything you want, you want it to show. Um, so let's say I am interested in uh, buying some of the products that this company is selling. However, before I do that, I have some questions to the company. I want to ask them. So what I can do is very easy. I can do it here from my WeChat app. So let's say I have a question. So I send them a question, and this question will go to their Salesforce and went to the live chat window. That's it. So their customer service agent received my message, received my question, so they can get back to me. And their reply will be delivered to my phone within maybe a second or two seconds. So it's really quick. So this left hat window, uh, companies can use it for doing a lot of things. By the way, so the moment I scan the QR code from my WeChat app, my personal account is connected with this company's business account. So this company uh, knows who I, who I am, and also, because this is a QR code for a marketing campaign, and um, a lead or a contact was already generated and put under 
the, the, the marketing campaign as a campaign member. So I'm already in their marketing campaign. So from this window, you can see I am a lead. I have more information here. And there is a related list. So a salesperson can use this live chat window for closing a deal. Or a customer service agent can use the live chat window to uh, start a live uh, interaction with WeChat customers. Or a marketing specialist can use this live chat window to see well, how many marketing campaigns that this WeChat user went to before. So one thing I want to show you is uh, it is possible. Let's say I am a customer service agent. I'm talking to a customer, a WeChat user. But this user asked me some questions I myself cannot answer. I do not have the full knowledge to answer the question. So what I can do is I can select a bunch of messages from here. I can quickly create a new case. As you can see from here, the case status is new. But what's important is the selected WeChat messages are already here in the description field. So I don't have to copy and paste the same information to this window. So it does that automatically. So another use case I can think of is, uh, let's say, uh, a company a, is, a, is a credit card company. Let's say it's American Express. And each time uh, their customers use uh, their credit cards, and the company want their customers to be notified. So if you uh, go to China, you use, use any credit card from a Chinese bank or credit card companies, this is very common. Each time you buy something, you're going to receive not an SMS, but a WeChat notification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a fake credit card transaction. I will just go, to, uh, go ahead and save it. This means my credit card was just charged. And from here, you can see I got a notification saying that is the name of my credit card. It has uh, my credit card number, and the amount is $4.75 and where it was charged. So this is for credit card transaction, but it can be for anything. It can be for an opportunity, it can be for a case. Uh, each time a case comment is added, and then the related WeChat user can be notified. So this is how it works. It, it can be like for um, a sales order. Each time the sales order status is modified or updated, and then a WeChat customer will be notified. One other thing I want to show you is uh, what today a lot of people are talking about AI and how people can get services by talking to the company. So I've been using uh, Allo for like a week or two. It's, it's amazing. I really like it. I can ask Allo a lot of questions. So what a WeChat user can do is we can do similar things. So let's say I am, this is my first time coming to San Francisco, and I want to go around. Well, in a city like San Francisco, the traffic can never be better can never be good. So I have to take the BART. But I don't know how to take the BART where I can, or where the BART can take me to. So what I can do, I can tap BART into my uh, WeChat. And this company is going to send me a message with the map of the BART. So there is no one behind Salesforce to support this. This is fully automated. So let's say uh, the nearest bus station is Power Street Station. So what I, what I want to do, I want to see uh, the schedule of this um, Power Street Station. So I type in the short name of um, Power Street Station, and then it sent me another message saying, well, this is the schedule uh, where you can go around the Power Street Station. It's still loading. I think I need to turn off the Wi-Fi. There are so many people using it. I will use uh, my 4G connection. OK, this is the bus schedule. So this is what we can do. And also, it is possible that uh, a, a Salesforce user can um, ask questions by chatting to WeChat and receive like the opportunity information. I, I can ask WeChat, how many open opportunities do I have? Uh, what is my... Um, 
uh, monthly pipeline, my progress towards uh, the quarterly annual goal, something like that. And WeChat will be able to provide me the answer without me having to log into Salesforce. Yes. So that, that is possible. So one other thing is this live chat window is what well, salespeople, customer, uh, marketing people can use it for uh, doing sales, customer service, and marketing, managing marketing campaigns. But most importantly, a company wants to sell things to WeChat users. That's the most important part. And uh, so this, what I want to show you is uh, a, a Salesforce customer can set up a WeChat storefront from within Salesforce. And as a WeChat user, I can go to their WeChat store and I can buy things from them. So this is how it works. So I go to their WeChat store. I'm going to browse what they have. So this is their WeChat store. I can scroll down and see what I like. So let's say I really like, uh, like this book. I can tap into the book. If I have any questions, there is a service icon I can tap into, and all my questions will go to uh, the live chat window. So their customer service people will be able to answer any questions that I may have. So let's say I do not have any questions. I will just go ahead and buy, buy it. So here I can choose the quantity. So let's say I want to buy two, one for myself and the other one for a friend of mine. So I will just go ahead and purchase it. So from here, as you can see, there is already the delivery address and the shipping method. It was previously uh, populated, and it has the pricing information. This is a real transaction. That's the reason why the amount is just two cents. So I do not want to spend a lot of money buying something I'm not going to receive. So I'm OK with everything. I'm ready to pay for it. So I will need to use uh, my task ID to authorize the transaction. I don't have to enter my credit card because I'm using WeChat Pay. WeChat Pay is everybody is using in China. So basically, people can go to a grocery store and buy things and pay with WeChat Pay without using credit card or cash or anything else. So the WeChat Pay is the easiest way to buy things in China. So as you can see, the payment was made. The transaction went through. If I go back to uh, the company's uh, WeChat business account, um, as you can see, well, it told me, it sent me a notification saying that the order was placed and um, the payment was made. So what I can do, so back into Salesforce, what the, the company can do is it will go to orders. I'm going to refresh the window. And this sales order, this is the order I just placed from my WeChat app. And the company can see, like, this is the uh, amount of the order. And this is where it came from. It came from WeChat. And this is the order status. And this is the name of the customer. And here, this is the delivery address. So you can see uh, all the information about the sales order, the quantity, and the price, et cetera. So the next step is for the company to shape the package. So let's assume it was already done. I need to change the order status to shipped. And from here, I need to enter uh, the shipping ID. It can be anything. Um, all right, so uh, the status was updated. They mean, this means the shipment was already made. And then from my WeChat app, as a WeChat user, I got another notification saying the package is on its way to your doorstep. And if you want to, at any time, you can tap into this message, and you will know where your package is. So you can always come back to this window. Yeah, so this is how it works. And once the transaction is completed, the business, so once the package is delivered, the business can change the status to delivered. And as a WeChat user, I'm going to receive another notification saying, well, the, the package was delivered, and the order is uh, fully finished. So this is how it works. So basically, 
what we are trying to do is a company can do sales, marketing, and customer service, and most importantly, e-commerce within Salesforce. The company does not have to leave Salesforce. They do everything within Salesforce, and as a WeChat user, a user does everything from the WeChat app. The user does not need to leave the WeChat app. So this is how uh, the purchase behavior is in China. It's very common, and this is how people buy things. So what we are trying to do is we want to help American companies, companies in Europe, companies in Canada, in Australia, sell their products to China from their Salesforce. They don't have to set up a local retail store in China. They don't have to have uh, people there. They can do everything from within Salesforce. So think about it. This is going to be very, very powerful. This is going to be the beginning of something new. So you can sell things like a company in Australia. They can like Ark Boots. They can sell their boots to Chinese people because Ark Boots is very, very popular in China. People like it. But um, as you know, there are so many companies uh, in between the consumer and Ark Boots, the company itself. By selling their boots this way. All the companies in between will be eliminated. It will be more efficient, and I, I assume that the profit margin will be much higher. So this is what we can do by using Target. It's possible to do everything, and um, uh, it's more than that. If um, you have any questions, we have a booth over there, and I can do uh, another demo if you want to. Um, I can answer a few questions if anyone has any. Okay, I think uh, that's it. It's a short one, and uh, well, th thank you very much for coming. This is a great reinforce, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Thank you.